Hello, welcome to my birthday party. So my birthday is actually in June, not October, but I'm just procrastination, yeah. Today, I have a bunch of birthday presents to unwrap. And just a disclaimer, I'm only opening book presents. So to friends and family members who got me non-bookish things, thank you for that. But I'm only talking about the people that got me bookish things today. So which of these presents should I open? I actually know which one that I'm going to open first. It's in the back here. I made the mistake of putting it in the back. Here it is. Now you'll notice that this isn't a birthday bag, it's a shopping bag. Because for my birthday, me and my family went to a bunch of bookstores and we got things there. And so I'm going to show you what we got first. First we went to Barnes & Noble and we got two books there. The first one is The List by Patricia Ford. I got this out of the library once and I never got around to reading it, but it still sounds really interesting to me. So when I saw it in Barnes & Noble, I thought I'd just pick it up. I think it's kind of dystopian-y. It has something to do with words. People aren't allowed to use certain words. And it's about the girl who's in charge of those forbidden words. I'm not entirely sure that that is exactly what's happening. The other book I got from Barnes & Noble is this really pretty copy of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Look how awesome the back is. It's awesome copy. It's actually a lot shorter than I would think it would be, which is encouraging me to read it. And it's just such a nice copy. I just want all of these Barnes & Noble fancy copies of things. And then after Barnes & Noble, we went to this antique bookstore. It was a really awesome store. It was like walking around in a wizard's lair. There were books on the floor and everywhere. And we got a few books from there. The first thing I got is this old antique book of games. It has a bunch of random little games in here and the rules of how to play it and stuff. Party tricks and games and things like that. And my family actually hosts a lot of events, so I think this could actually be kind of useful. This next book we got from this place is not the most antique book ever, but I still like it. The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. The cool Puffin cover. Puffin has the best covers for classics, and I love collecting them, so I had to get this. I'm not entirely sure what this is about, but I can't wait to read it. The cover is just really cool. And the last book that we got from the store is my favorite, I think. And it is this really cool copy of Dante's Divine Comedy. Look at it. It's so cool and antique and it's amazing. I really like the font in this copy. It's a really cool font and it's a really cool cover and it's going to look amazing in my collection and I'm, I just, I love it. We did go to one more bookstore but we didn't get anything from it, so. Now onto the actual gifts. Which one should I get? Since that one was from this shelf down here, I'll get this one from this shelf without knocking down the happiness. This is a cool bag, isn't it? It's really colorful and bright. This one is from my parents, so thank you parents. It's two red bubble notebooks. I really like these. They look really nice, and I always need new notebooks, always. It came with a sticker. The next one, which one should we get? Me, 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 me. Should I pick you, or should I pick something else? It's not you. Not you. Uh, this one. Yeah. This one is from my grandparents. Thank you, grandparents. It is the entire 39 Clues set, at least the first 10 books. Not box set, mind you, because it didn't come in a box, but it is a whole set. I'm glad I have these now, because trying to read them from the library was not working. I would read an amount of them and then take too long to get to the next one, and then when I came back to it, I would feel the need to reread all of them to continue on, and I'd get like one book further each time. So now I I own all of them. I'm binge reading them. I'm on book four 
so far, so it's going decent. Hopefully I can finish all ten. I did replace the first one they gave me, because the rest of the series was good, but the copy of the first one that was in, the set that they got me had a transparent cover so that you could see the cards inside, except it didn't even have the cards. So I replaced that one. The set also includes book two, book three, book four, which is the one that I am on, book five, book six, book seven, book eight, book nine, and book ten. I am excited for all of them. Which one next? I feel like this one, although I don't know how I'm going to get it out without destroying happiness. Uh, this is another one from my parents. Thank you, parents. It's a collection of Japanese fairy tales, which is not something that I've ever seen or heard of before. So it's really interesting. I like these kind of books. They're like an interesting addition to my collections. Which one should I do next? Mm -hmm, I'll do... No. Let's do the circus one. I feel like it's getting neglected. And then we'll do a few from the top shelf because there's only two more left on the bottom. This is another one from my parents. Thank you, parents. Ugh. It is a Ronald Dahl box set. I've wanted to collect Ronald Dahl's works, but why go through the trouble of finding all of them individually when you can just get a box set? Why does it smell so weird? It smells citrusy. I don't think this includes all of Ronald Dahl's books, but it is most of them. I've seen like two other ones that aren't in this set. Like I don't think the crocodile one is in the set, or the Henry. Citrus. It smells like c citrus or something. Citrus. So the set includes George's Marvelous Medicine, which I have read, The Twits, which I haven't read, The BFG, which I've read, Matilda, which I've read, Danny the Champion of the World, which I haven't read, The Witches, which I've read, Ezo Trot, which I haven't read, The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me, which I haven't read, The Magic Finger, which I have read from the set, Boy, which I haven't read, Going Solo, which I haven't read, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which I have read, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, which I haven't read, Fantastic Mr. Fox, which I haven't read, but this is probably going to be the next one I read. And James and the Giant Peach, which I haven't read, but again, this might be the next one if this one isn't. Now, let's do a few on top before we get down to here. What's this? It's a little box. This wasn't technically a birthday present, but around my birthday time, we went to a store and I found this and I had to have it. It's the New English Dictionary, except not. It has a little safe in here, and it's hollowed out so you can hide things, and it has keys. Isn't this, like, the coolest thing that you've ever seen ever? Now, when you hide things in your hollowed out book, even if someone finds it, they can't get to it, and they're never going to find it, because who picks up New English Dictionaries? Now I can hide all of my presents in here. I think it will fit. I mean, I got all the presents to fit onto this shelf. I think I can get it to fit into here. As you can see, I have an owl crate box up here, which is also technically not a birthday present. Owl Crate Junior box, I should say. I've gotten a few Owl Crate boxes since our last haul, so let me show you the books that I got. I got Grump by Liesl Shirt Shirtliff. Shirt lift? It looks like short life or shirt lift. I believe is a fairy tale retelling of Snow White, part of a companion novel series of fairy tale retellings, I believe. And then I also got The Legend of Greg, an epic series of failures by Chris Rylander. It has a cool cover. This boy finds out that he's a troll or something, or half troll. And then the last Owl Crate book I got this month is Night Books by J.A. White. This I believe is a scary sort of book and it has to do with writing scary stories notebooks and them coming to life or something of that sort. I don't know why the August and September Owl Crate Junior boxes had scary themes because they're the months leading up to Halloween which is this month but then this month is male themed. I don't know what they were doing there but this is a really cool cover. Look at, look at, look at boy, look at the endless spiraling upward. Let's do one more from the top shelf and then do another from the bottom shelf. This one. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out without destroying happiness. I got it out without destroying happiness. Here's this one. I think this is from my parents. 
Yes, this is from my parents. Thank you, parents, again. The Secret Garden thing. This isn't the actual book, Secret Garden. It's like a little overview of the story, play-by-play -play of what happens. They got another thing like this in this series of Romeo and Juliet for my sister because she's obsessed with Shakespeare. And I think this is kind of cool. It's like a little overview of the story. It's really interesting. I think that she got this at that antique bookstore we were at and she slipped it by me somehow. This is a $50 Barnes & Noble gift card from my aunt. Thank you, aunt. Consider your weekend booked. Since we were just talking about my sister, I think we should do the present that she got me. Look at this pretty rainbow bag. I like rainbows. The Daring Adventures of Penhaligon Brush. Hardcover. Yes. I have it in paperback, and then I have a hardcover copy that didn't come with the book jacket. And so this is my third copy of my favorite book, the best book ever. And now it matches the sequel because it's in hardback. It's amazing. It's amazingness. There's only one more present at the bottom, so we'll do a top. Should we do with the one with the heart on it? Or the one with the birthday cake? I think we should save birthday cake for last. And is it gonna destroy? It didn't destroy happiness. Happiness was not destroyed. The heart one, that's obviously a Valentine's Day thing, but we're gonna ignore that and pretend it's just love. This one is from my grandparents. Thank you, grandparents. Fairest by Marissa Meyer, which is perfect because I just finished reading Cress. Book talk for that coming out sometime. I'm really excited for this one because it's a shorter one. Look at this page thing, the end page, that's what they're called. I'm excited for this one. Last one on the bottom shelf. It has an elephant on it. This one's from my parents. I don't think I've done one from my parents yet. Thank you, parents. The Complete Peanuts Collection, volume, which volume is this? 1953 to 1954. I've been collecting these and I just, they're amazing. I really like peanuts, if you can't tell. Last birthday present, I think this one's going to destroy happy. It didn't. Do you know how many times this fell when I tried to put it up here? This is literally hanging up by the tape that was on it last year. That's been sitting in the basement. Fell off like three times when I was setting all this up. Look how pretty and fuzzy and sparkly. Oh, I'm sparkly now. This one is from my grandparents. Zzz. Oh, no. How do I get this out? Upside down. Set it. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Why is this so hard? Yeah. Okay. The Chronicles of Narnia box sets. Yes. In chronological order, like the way that I want to read them. There's a crying dragon on this side, and a lion on this side, and blackness on this side, and on this side, the books. And of course it includes the books, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. I'm very happy to have these because I was ashamed that I didn't have a Narnia thing, let alone the fact that I haven't read it yet. So I'm glad I have this and now I have to read it. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm in focus or not, but that's all I'm talking about today. Thank you everyone who got me presents books or not books. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're upset that you didn't send me a birthday present because you should be, then that's fine. I'll accept likes and subscriptions as birthday gifts. Thank you. Thank you for those. Be sure to wrap them first because I want to unwrap them. I mean, I don't know how you're going to do that, but figure it out. Oh, should I? Do I need to carry them all? I'm tempted to not carry them all. Okay. We'll, we'll do some, some kind of carry of them all because I need, like, we have to have that. We can't have, we can't have a haul video without the like, book holding. We can't have that. Okay, I'm not going to hold them all. I'm not going, I'm not going to do the antique books because I don't want them to be destroyed. Okay, this is not going to end well. I don't even have a place to set them down. Oh, I should have done the box sets first. Uh, I swear, if my camera...
camera stops filming, it's going to be the end of civilization. Yeah, no. You know, I have to set these down and then pick them up in a second. Oh no. Oh no. No. Yeah. Ah, nope. I uh, can't. No. No. Yeah. Okay. This is it. L. I think I've destroyed my party hat. D goodbye. Who thought it was a good idea for me to have so many birthday presents? What's wrong with society? It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Yes, you. It's your birthday. Yes, it. Look at this mess that I have to clean up for you people. You better like. You better.